nominating the artist who will be the musical catalyst in the next decade is just about impossible. All we can do is look at some of the influences of the late 70s, wait and listen to the 80s. I think at the beginning of the 70s, when it was sort of a bit dull, there was the idea of uh, creating a flash of some kind. Right. And the flash was created, but nobody's really found holding a smoking pistol. So right. it sort of went off at tangents after that. There was no real definite thing said at the beginning of the 70s, um, but it did open everything up for investigation and sort of uh, sub avenues of different kinds of music. People started working in all different areas of music. Right. Now with DJ, there was sort of um, a thing where you were throwing records around and that. Do you have any respect for the media of the DJs that, that you know, <laughs> that play the records? Respect? Yeah. I, don't, that's, I don't really listen to them very much. No? Listen to DJs very much. I think it uh, depends who the DJ is and what station he works for. Uh, and what kind of music he wants to present. Why he wants to be a DJ. Right. I don't know. They seem to have some awesome sort of power. I don't power. Know, really know about the silent world of the DJ. Yeah. It's just sort of silent because his records do his talking for him. Right. Although they tend to have an awesome power of what they play and don't play. And on the, on the larger things, yeah, yeah, on the larger media things. But there again, the larger media things have an awesome power about what they do and don't put on, right. don't they? Yeah. What is your opinion of the younger groups today? The younger groups? Yeah. Mm, very small. They're usually about that big. <laughs> no, seriously. Whopping great guitars. No, seriously. Like the Boomtown Rats, Police. Oh, that's very difficult. I like tracks. I mean, the odd few things that I've heard from those two particular bands. Right. Um, there's some other bands uh, that I've listened to more. Um, like who? Well, I like the Talking Heads, actually. Right. Young, they're not, but they're a very good band. Right. I, I like what they're playing. And what about, say, someone like Gary Newman, who they claim is the Bowie of the I've 80s? I've heard his singles. I like the singles. They're sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so um, David Bowie in the 80s, will it Will it be, well, we don't, you don't know yourself Not what really, you're going to no. Be. No. Mm. All right. Um, one more, one what last question. What will you question. be in the 80s? What are you God only be? knows, probably <laughs> stuttering wreck in a, in a greenery. Um, in a greenery? If, if again, uh, you had to ask uh, someone, if you thought about the 70s, um, what would you say was the most influential thing in the 70s on music? Well, it wasn't Vera Lynn, was it? It certainly wasn't. Um, Oh, I, I couldn't possibly say the people yeah. more than anything else. The people really created changes and wanted change.